So, dear student, under the topic non-linear partial differential equations, we are solving problems under standard type 3. Now, here we have the question, p square plus q square is equal to s square, x square plus y square. Now, we see that in this given equation, only x, y, p and q are present and z is not present. In that case, the given equation is of the form f1 of x comma p is equal to f2 of y comma q. So, whenever it is of this form, we have to gather all the x and p terms on the left and y and q terms on the right of this equation. So, when we do so, we get taking this x to the left, it will be p square minus x square will be equal to taking this q square to the right, we will be having y square minus q square. So, we have obtained this. Now, we have to equate this to a constant. So, what we will do, since we have square in all the terms, we have p square here, x square here, y square and q square, we will equate it to some square term a square. In fact, we can also equate it to a, there is no wrong in that. But in order to have the answer in a comfortable way, I am equating it to a square term, since all the terms are in square. So, it is equal to a square. So, now next now from this p square minus x square is equal to a square and also y squared minus q squared is equal to a square. So from this we get the value of p square to be equal to taking this negative x square to the right we will be having a square plus x square. And so what will be the value of p? p will be equal to plus or minus square root of a square plus x square. And what about here? Here we will have q squared to be equal to y squared minus a square. So q will be equal to plus or minus square root of y square minus a square. So we have obtained the value of p and the value of q as well. Now we have to take this and substitute in dz which is equal to pdx plus qdy. So, from this, the value of dz will be equal to, so instead of p, we have to substitute plus or minus square root of, we can rewrite it as x square plus a square and then dx. q is plus or minus square root of y square minus a square dy. Now, we have to integrate on both the sides. So, when we integrate, we have to use the formula of integration for square root of x square plus a square. So, by the integral calculus, the formula for this is equal to, now uh, plus or minus we will have as it is, bracket, the formula for square root of x square a plus a square dx is x square root of x square plus a square divided by 2 plus a squared by 2 sine h inverse of x by a. So, this is the formula from the integral calculus for square root of x squared plus a squared dx. That is the integral of this. In a similar way, we, this is negative y squared minus a squared. So, the formula will be a little different. So, that will be plus or minus. So, because we have this plus or minus over here, I am writing it bracket. The integral of square root of y squared minus a squared dy will be y square root of y squared minus a squared divided by 2. And since we have negative over here, within the formula also we have a negative here. And then a squared by 2 and cos h inverse of y by a. Because we have y over here. And then plus a constant of integration which we can take as b. So, this is the integra integration of these two terms. And what is the integral of d z? It is z. So, therefore, z, z is equal to this is the solu complete solution of the given problem. You can simplify this further by taking this 1 by 2 which is in the denominator common from all the terms and also plus or minus. Or you can, you can also have the solution in this way. So, hope you have understood this problem. Kindly follow the next video lecture for problem number 5. Thank you.